Hi, my name is Hani Suraya binti Abdul Malik and I would like to talk about the introduction of the interview. So, Puan Lalawati had introduced us about the role of the Commercial and Cyber Crimes Unit in Attorney General's Chamber. Firstly, um, it is to produce and study investigation papers relating to commercial and cyber crimes cases. Next, the unit also giving instructions and advices pertaining to investigations and prosecution. They also give legal advices and instructions to the other government related agencies such as Bank Negara Malaysia, Securities Commission, Labuan Financial Services Authority including references from the State Director of Prosecution. And for the last, it also conducts commercial and cyber crime cases and appeals throughout Malaysia. We also have been told that cyber law in Malaysia is referring to Budapest Convention. Budapest Convention is also known as a Convention on Cybercrime. It is the first international treaty seeking to address internet and computer crime by harmonizing national laws, improving investigative techniques and increasing cooperation among nations. So basically, uh, Budapest Convention deals particularly with infringements of copyright, computer-related fraud, child pornography, and violations of the network security. The convention also aims to harmonize the domestic criminal substantive law, elements of offenses, and connected provisions in the area of the cybercrime. Hacking is an unlawful or an unauthorized intrusion into a computer or a network. It is any technical effort to manipulate the, beha the normal behavior of network connections and connected systems. Whereas hacker is the person who engage in hacking activities, according to Puan Lai Lawati, to track down these hackers, a few steps that can be taken are firstly, the complainant must file a report to the police and then the police will investigate. Furthermore, experts will perform digital forensics, which is the process of uncovering and interpreting electronic data. The item seek is a physical computer. They will find the digital traces from the computer to identify any changes to the computer. Lastly, they will conduct forensic examination. Sedition. Sedition is a draconian antiquated concept that poses a serious curb on the freedom of expression guaranteed in the federal constitution. In the interest of democracy and the attendant freedom of expression, the federal government should be working to abolish the existing law instead of drafting new ones to assist in the prosecution of seditious online content. Any measures taken to curb the already limited freedom of expression in Malaysia only demonstrates the government's unwillingness to engage in genuine public discourse and to be held publicly accountable. Based on our visit, the case of public prosecutor against Azmin Bucharu has been extensively discussed in this case. In this case, a law lecturer, Dr. Azmin Bucharu, was charged under Section 41B and 41C of the Sedition Act alternatively for the remarks he had made on an article entitled Take Perak Crisis, Good for Speedy and to Selangor Impas, Parliament 2. The article was on a uh, website published uh, Malay, Malay Mail Online on August 14, 2014. The article was about the political crisis in Selangor, where the state had planned to move, uh, remove the, its chief minister before the official legislative assembly took place. Azmi was quoted stating that the constitutional crisis will occur as similar to the Perak circumstances in 2009, where the chief minister was removed by the Sultan. Azmi stated that we don't want a repeat of that, where a secret meeting took place. And I think what happened in Perak was legally wrong. The best thing to do is to do it as legally and transparently as possible. And he also said, a vote by the House of Representatives should be done in the House of Representatives. The federal court reportedly stated that what we can gather that it is thus the intention of the framers of the constitution to ensure that the existing law will continue to be valid and enforceable upon the coming into operation of the constitution on Medica Day. In this case, this the existing law means that the Sedition Act. It also noted that the Parliament has the right under Article 10 to 8 of the Federal Constitution to restrict the freedom of uh, speech as it deems necessary or expedient for national security. The Chief Justice also said that the restrictions imposed under the Section 4.1 of the Sedition Act does not amount to a total prohibition 
of the exercise has to be right uh, to the freedom of speech, as there are several exceptions under Section 3.2 of the Sedition Act to these restrictions. Hi everybody, today I'd like to talk about commercial cybercrime cases. There are so many commercial cybercrime cases, but today I would like to talk about the famous one, which is the internet love scam. So in this case, what happens is that the fraudsters, they would meet their target online in Facebook or Instagram. So what they do is that they would initiate romantic relationship with their target or their fake lover. And then once they have gained the fake lover's trust, they would make the fake lover to transfer money online to their bank account or yeah, to their bank account. So this transaction may take place several times until the target would feel suspicious towards the scammer. So this is the case. So another thing I like to talk about is the issues and challenges faced by investigators in investigating commercial cybercrime cases today. So one of the issues is that, okay, in IP address, uh, I mean for IP address, uh, uh, five to 10 people can use the same IP address. So the thing is that the investigate find, find it very hard, the investigators find it very hard to identify the real culprit behind the case. So that's all. that contains fake news. The impact of fake news nowadays is amplified through the social media platforms and internet platforms since the content can be published with a significantly lower cost, with a wide reach and also rapid circulation. With a drastic rise in the usage of social media especially, it is important to set some guidelines to uh, make sure that the citizens will be more cautious and responsible in sharing news and also to make sure that the social media uh, platforms are not misused. Since this bill was passed in April 2018, the public raised the question whether the purpose of this act was to stifle the freedom of speech. In answering this question, Rev. Sri Azalina Othman said that this act was drafted in accordance with the fundamental rights provided in the federal constitution. After our research, we are of the opinion that this act will surely protect the citizens from the darker side of the technology, but it will face some problems since the definition of fake news in this act is quite vague. Uh, this will cause problems uh, because it will cause a disagreement over what actually comprises a fake news. Legislate against fake news to counter this issue seems like the best option but it has its own difficulties and challenges. Thank you. A digital data is a data that represents other forms of data using specific machine language systems that can be interpreted by various technologies. The most fundamental of this system is a binary system, which simply stores complex audio, video, and text information in a series of binary characters. One of the biggest strengths of digital data is that all sorts of very complex analog input can, repre can be represented with the binary system. Along with smaller microprocessors and larger data storage centers, this model of information capture has helped parties like businesses and government agencies to explore new frontiers of data collection and to represent more impressive simulations through a digital interference. Properties of digital information all digital information possesses common properties that distinguish it from analog data with respect to communications. The first one, uh, the first property is uh, synchronization, then comes language, then errors, then copying, then granulari uh, granularity, and lastly, compressible. That's all. Thank you.